welcome back everyone to another Sunday night of shenanigans. I'm so un- unorganized. I didn't even think that the one on the countdown was the last number then. <laughs> uh, very, very unorganized this week. Uh, there's only three of us. So uh, probably be a shorter show tonight. Um, but it should be fun anyway. Uh, Bowden, how you going? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. And we got Josh on as well. There you go, yeah, Josh. Josh, jo- Josh Jai. I didn't realize I um, <laughs> can't spell my name. Maybe I should uh, lay off these. I don't know what it is. It's pretty good. <laughs> Cracking. <laughs> Josh Jai. Uh, we'll say good day. Well. There's not many in the chat yet. Um, so if you're in, say good day. Secondhand Gang Vic. There you go. Chris Clexing also sells things. Hi, everyone. Awesome sales this week at the mega store. Still two kilometers under the ground packing orders. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, the last reseller, uh, I believe that's Peachy. There you go. Christian. There you go. The octopus. Oh, he's around that guy. <laughs> oh, he, wasn't, he, he wasn't available tonight. Yeah, he made me fill in for Josh Jai. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rich, how you going, mate? And Brendan, is this Brendan? This is um, me, your media picker, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Raucous Reg or Raucous Reg, I don't know how to say it still, it's been a few years. Um, sales have been very good this week, yeah, um, might have been okay. Uh, just talking to Bowden before the show, uh, about this piece. His kids are actually dying at the moment, so uh, <laughs> prayers up to both of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear. Um, how you been going, Bowden? You... That's right, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'll, I'll turn this off for a second. You can see I've moved, moved locations from out in the studio into the house, and uh, uh, it's... It means that I'm, I'm here to be more accessible to the boys at night, but it means I've had to change my whole structure around because I don't have all my stock with me. Uh, and I'm obviously trying to look after the boys a little bit as well as my wife's on placement for the, the last 12 months. And, yeah, just with the move into here, I kind of took some time because I've been doing this now for three years. Uh, I took like a month kind of off listing and just let myself have some time to just enjoy clearing my head, getting myself back in the game and, um, yeah, just getting re-energised and reinvigorated. So it was it was surprising doing like a month and a half of no listing that sales didn't really drop off, didn't change. Um, you know, you, you, you hear so often of you need to list daily and get your, your numbers in, but ultimately it, it did nothing. It, it didn't really change anything. Um, it's probably really only just at the very tail end that, you know, was it dipping off because of lack of sales or, or anything but i still didn't drop below what my weekly target is always at so i was i was pretty pretty happy with the outcome and glad i could take some time to clear my head and get back into it yeah cool yeah i've been saying for years you don't need to list every day you do need to risk list regularly though if you're on a but yeah, you know, like eBay, eBay doesn't take your store if you don't list every day. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like some people might list fifteen items a week, uh, a day. I'd just prefer to list a hundred in a day, and then not do anything for the next six days. Like, yeah. I'll do I'll, I'll do other stuff for those days or whatever. So, I'd love just, to have the time to list a hundred in a day, but for me. Yeah. <laughs> it, it works to do 15 to 20 a day. That's kind of where it works. So oh, when I say a hundred a day, it's it's DVDs. You know, like it's simple. Yeah. So yeah. I've yeah, they're all straight through um templates and shit like that. So um it's <laughs> put in a part of the sticky bandits. <laughs> There are some wild kids tonight. Yeah, Bowden, um, I actually, when I'm live, I just chuck Nelson outside with a bucket of water. <laughs> I don't know if that, that would help. <laughs> Mate, I, I'd, I'd love to. I could lock them up in the pen out the back for the dogs because the dogs are just down here beside me and they're quiet as anything, but the boys up there are just, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Bradley, Brad and Jazz. Hey, Brad and Jazz hey, Brad, off, yeah, to, off to Queensland tomorrow. Can you, so anyone, can you manipulate with sales promos 
if you have stock up that yeah you i mean i do that as well like i'll just like oh i haven't listed for a week i'll just run a yeah. coupon like or something yeah. like that uh, and i i was like ending and relisting like daily so yeah it was it was like five minutes of work to end and relist sim, sell similar kind of thing and and you're off and racing so there was obviously enough activity that they were happy you know that the algorithm saw that i was active and sending off parcels and everything so yeah that's the I'm joy not, of i'm not recommending having enough stock to, i'm not recommending people don't list for a week either by the way <laughs> everyone's situation's different i got a ton of followers yeah. on my eBay account so i get heaps of repeats i get customers that buy one or two dvds off me every few days regardless of whether i've listed new stuff or not you know everyone's different um Oz Riley, big on. New place is pretty awesome. Um, like I said in the video, there's parts of it that are just falling apart, but I don't care because uh, it's just so much more convenient. Uh, I, I really liked my old place. I really did. Like I, I was there for nearly six years, and um, I was dreading leaving. Uh, not because I loved it. I was dreading leaving because I didn't want to move everything, but... Um, yeah, uh, this house is just so much more convenient. Everything's just easier. Like, it's weird how just a few little differences can make so much difference. Um, you know, like, my laundry was outside at the old house, and the amount of times that I would just wash my clothes and then just leave them out there, like, it's just, like, I had to walk all the way down the stairs. And back and so it just makes things harder. Um, yeah. And the, the back door is right next to the laundry, so I can just hang me washing up. Um, had some monster high dolls. <laughs> oh, hey, Peachy, you're going to give me PTSD, mate. Stop it. <laughs> well, did Google start image watching. search is the best thing. Google image search. Find the names yeah. and... I did just start again. watching the, uh, the latest Octopus video. Uh I didn't get. It's not very well. good. I just finished. I just. I didn't. I didn't finish it. Don't watch it. Don't recommend. It's doing pretty well, actually. So I hear. Yeah. Uh, taking on the big dogs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Know. He's a bit of a. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a. I don't know. <laughs> it's not very, See how not he very takes smart. It. Yeah, not very smart on the octopus's behalf. Give me two seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let someone out. I'll be back. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I don't really have anything planned for tonight. Um, it's all right. We do. We do have uh, shits me to tears, which I haven't even thought really of one myself yet, other than Bowden's kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give them to you for a week and see see how much they that really shit your tears. Then, <laughs> yeah. Who's this Josh guy? Yeah, Josh Jai. We don't know who yeah. that's Josh Jai is. <laughs> Maybe that's what the Jai stands for, just Josh Guy. Is it Jai um, or Guy or Gee? I don't know. Yeah, no, it was supposed it's to be a full key. stop, but <laughs> it was supposed to be a full stop. Just Maybe fat fingers, mate. Not used Maybe to using them. Maybe it's foreign and it's pronounced Yi. Josh Yi. Yeah, it could be. Oh, that's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> I have to ask your kids, Bowden. They seem like they're, more, they're talking more than I am. <laughs> Uh, have you guys got a shit to me to tears? If anyone in the chat's got a shit to me to tears or a question or anything, chuck it in the chat. Uh, have you got one, Josh? Just trying to think. Um, probably spending okay. nine hours of today trying to do a video about a 15 minute video, probably <laughs> gives you enough to shit you to tears, but. Um, nah, really, it's been pretty good on my end. Um, I was just saying to Bowden before we went live that. You know, the octopus sent me out six hours to pick up one Skylander on Friday night. So I drove up to Sydney and back. So that's Robo. If you're into Skylanders, yeah, that's probably the only time you'll ever see. <laughs> so suck it in. <laughs> um, yeah, he's pretty exclusive. So he's probably the the rarest uh, Skylander that was a retail release. So and he's, you, worth, he's worth 500 bucks. 500. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I sold one about a couple of weeks ago. That's my second one I've had in a month, and five fifty. I sold the last one for a couple of weeks ago. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. People are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just uh, sold a. Uh, I, I just I just sold a, a Blu-ray for one hundred twenty dollars last week. Splash from the eighties. 
120 yeah. bucks, and it regularly sells for that price. Mm. Uh, uh, I've sold it as a DVD, price. but not as not as a Blu-ray. That's a that's a good little find. Yeah, very hard to get. No. Yeah, and, and the, the same guy bought. Um, he was from America. He, he also bought I Love Trouble, which is like a romantic sort of comedy thing, like action from uh, yep. like 94 with Nick Nolte and I think Julia Roberts. Uh, he paid 60 for that as well. <laughs> so about 100, 180 for both. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, <sighs> six with the tears, people asking questions on Depop, you answer straight away, then they ghost you. <laughs> exactly right. Well, I had the exact same easy thing. answer. Easy answer to how to deal with that. Just get off Depop. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just delete all your listings on Depop. Get off because it's dead. It's rubbish. Okay. Yeah, uh, Leanne and Blake do pretty well on Depop. I know Christian does as well, but um, yeah. look, 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 yeah, K Farm was just saying that, yeah, you know, even today I had about eight questions. What material is this? Well, they're denim jeans, they're going to be a cotton or a cotton blend, you know, it's not rocket science. And uh, yeah. Levi's, and I said, Oh, yeah, they're Levi's, they're, they're cotton, you know, got them out of the pack. Yeah, I went through all the boxes and the crates in the garage to get them out, and <laughs> it disappeared. Maybe K Farm's been messaging me, like, <laughs> she's ghosting me. I uh, got a neutral feedback, and all they said was hmm, the guy asked to cancel the order and refunds so that I want his own. Speaking yeah. of neutral feedback, I tried the old uh, Chris Furlong method from last week of uh, doing the the, uh, the request form online, and I got knocked back. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you have to be um, somewhat famous on uh, YouTube and be invited to retail first before you get your uh, your feedback removed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah they, I, I found they don't remove negatives anymore. They just delete the actual text. They've told oh, really? me. Um, Cause yeah, I had okay. one that was like, it hadn't even been delivered. And the guy was like, he wrote on saying that I'd stole his money, hadn't <laughs> delivered the stuff. And it, it was in WA. So it was with all the flooding, it was delayed. And the eBay reps were like, look, I'm sorry, we can't delete it. Um, all we can do is delete the text. And yeah, that's, that's the best we can do. I'm like, you're kidding me? All right. That was weird. Oh well, that's what it is. That's what it is. I got a request. Yes, I got an an INR yesterday, and the person wrote that uh, I've been getting all my mail stolen out of my letterbox. So why do I have to refund you? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. D <laughs> pop being going crazy this week. Yeah, like um. Cal, means, uh, means Christian sold two things this week. That's what that means. So <laughs> don't 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 read too much into that. No, he's uh, been modeling. Yeah. He's been modeling the clothes. That's why he's selling it so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Popping, uh, popping the G string up the top of the <laughs> up, up the top of the pants. You know the old nineties the nineties thong up yeah. high. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Cal switched over to Depop and she's doing pretty well with it too. So that's good. Um. Yeah. Uh, Robo, maybe, maybe, yeah, no, maybe no W, that. just yeah, no W, it's just R O B O. There you go, Brendan. You can have another look, mate. I think retail fest ticks come with five, yeah, that should, that should for the price. <laughs> what do I gotta do to be invited to retail? For, uh, I mean, I know, um, how's your knees looking, Christian? <laughs> 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 A lot of people are going up there, it doesn't really interest me. Uh, I think if I had if I had to talk to people about eBay for five days straight, I'd go insane. <laughs> I heard I heard the octopus I, I like on uh, Leanne going Sorry, what's that, Brian? You like it for the networking? I just said I, I'd like it for the networking, getting to catch up with people. Like it's a nice central thing. We don't have anything like what a lot of the Americans have of their little reseller catch up. So at least that's a nice, you know, easy to do sort of thing. But yeah, it's the the relevancy of it. You know, sometimes when you look at who else is there and what they're pushing, etc., it's like, is it is it really worth the time and effort for the actual retail fest, or is it more an opportunity to catch up with people that you know and people that you don't get to see regularly? I guess is is the big the big takeaway. I think if I went, I'd be going to hang out with um, 
Brad and Jazz and Furlong, and like I can hang out with Furlong whenever I want. He lives an hour away, <laughs> and I'd probably rather drive to Adelaide again than actually pay to yeah. fly to Queensland. So, uh, I, I just yeah, see that... retail fest. Yeah, I was going to say I just see retail. Oh, no, there you go. Uh, <laughs> thinking, yeah, you know, cutting Leanne, cutting everyone off. Um, retail fest is just paid marketing. That's what you're paying for some of the market shit. Too. That's all that I take away from it. Yeah. Yeah. I totally understand why people are, want to go and they're interested in it. Like, mm. But people know me, it's just not really my jam. So mm. um, I'm ranked 4,880 in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like get a bloody parcel like a fucking oath. <laughs> get Mr. Furlong to remove our problem. <laughs> you can outsource his uh, talents. Dave, how you going? Took a while to cover after seeing Wano's post that there was a show for the <laughs> two weeks in a row. Yeah, well, uh, I think Bowden and I only got hit up like 15 minutes ago. Without <laughs> that, just got a random uh, StreamYard link in our inbox and off we go. <laughs> <laughs> 1300 a ticket. Yeah, I don't really understand the pricing, but I don't know. It must be a reason. Like, I don't know anything about it, so I can't really comment on it. Uh, it's That's why tough. I said it's, it's it's really more for the networking than than for what you're going to get out of it. I, I'd, I'd be surprised if there's thirteen hundred dollars worth of value that you're going to get out of going there. So it's probably just to attract the bigger, more of the bigger sellers than the smaller ones. Um, need to sell a few items every week to get the numbers and stats in your email. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> Deep up the nineteen eighties top song. <laughs> First time we've been invited after seven years of selling on eBay. Nice to get a ticket, but still got to pay for accommodation flights. Yeah. I mean, if it was in Melbourne and I got offered a free ticket, I'd probably go. But, oh, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of money. No, they're not. Of course not. Uh, just add all on the street for a movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way around it. It's definitely, yeah, it's not really an eBay thing, is it? There's just like a one-day eBay day or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Hey, well, yeah, if it's, it's seventeen or was it seventeen hundred or thirteen hundred dollars for a circle jerk for five days? <laughs> yeah. Seems like it. <laughs> Again, but if you if you had a proper like, if you weren't a reseller, if you were just a straight, you know, like import seller or creating stuff, it might be very very relevant. I don't know, but I, I think. As as Brad and Jad said, for seven years they've been they've been selling on eBay and have had no no invite. Wayne, are you been twenty odd years with no invite? Like it's not it's not something that eBay are pushing for their reseller market. They're obviously recognizing that's growing, and I think with the way that the economy is going, like that that side of eBay is growing significantly at the moment. Um, but I think I think it really is looking more at that as, as we say that kind of you know drop shipper importer. Um, you know, also people who are wholesalers to to actual bricks and mortar retailers, all of that side of things. So, yeah. Well, Brad, I think Brad it'd be interesting it. to be able to go. Yeah, Brad might know in the chat, but I'd be quite curious to see what the makeup of the, the eBay panel is. Yeah, you know, the the seller panel, because I don't think there's any resellers on there. Yeah, I know Jason's got his own yeah you know, distribution stuff, um, but you know, from a reselling perspective, we're, we're nothing to eBay, so. Yeah. yeah, that's I it. Mean, like, like, we're, we're not paying for the big advertising dollars like you know no. Harvey Norman and all the others are, and and that like that we're little in regards to their revenue for advertising. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you yeah. mentioned you mentioned I've been on eBay for twenty years. Like that doesn't mean I've like Brad does have done way better than me in seven years than I've done yeah. in twenty. Like I've just been yeah. float, floating around for fifteen of those years, not really doing a lot, but. Uh, hi Sandra, how you going? Thanks Apparently, so out. Christian, oh. <laughs> Finney's and Salvo's be red oh. The amount of reading. the amount of new stuff I've seen at Vinny's over the last couple of months <clears throat> that they're getting in now is just yeah, it's growing. I was watching the octopus's video before, and like, yeah, you know, he makes a very good point. <laughs> it's almost like, like a lived experience, but yeah, you know, like personally, I'm sick of them, you know, redirecting all that money into doing their their shops up, like their you know high end retail and yeah, you know, like Louis Vuitton stuff, because 
you know, the one that I go to that <laughs> your wife's a doctor, mate. Tell her to fix your kid's cough. <laughs> um, Calm down. You know, <laughs> the, the stuff that, yeah, the cell phones mm. that I get all the AIS stuff from, yeah, that, that's old and decrepit and falling apart. But that, that yeah, shop backs onto the back of like one of Canberra's wealthiest suburbs. So they get all the, the decent stuff, like the phenomenal stuff here. It's like four or five bucks. Yeah, you go into Gungala, which is, you know, probably, yeah, the, the probably the closest town to where I am. Wow. Yeah, you'd know Gungala, Bowden. And, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the place is like, yeah, it's priced like it's Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, like $8 yeah. for a cup that's got chips in it. Like, well, our yeah. locally, they've got a they've got a Burberry jacket, and I don't know if it's legit. It looks nice, mm. but I can't 100%. There's no authenticity, but no. they've got $1,200 on it, $1,200 on a on a Burberry jacket at Vinnie's. And it's like, it's cool that you've got this, but A, you don't have any authentication that yeah, that is right. what it is. Um, yeah. And they never do. They never have authentication on anything they're selling for high dollars. And B, how often is someone in Nowra? I mean, Nowra, we're not talking yeah. about, you know, you know, the northern beaches of Sydney or somewhere like that. How often is someone going to walk in and want to drop 1200 bucks on a jacket? Like, yes, it might be 10 grand brand new if it's real, but there's just not those people in Nara walking no, in the well, that, and looking. Well, that's exactly right. And I, I am tempted. I might even talk to, you know, my contacts at Salvos and, you know, begrudgingly go into Vinnie's that I can't stand, the one at Mitchell, um, and just volunteer one, one day a weekend for four weeks. I, I just want to know what goes behind the scenes because, yeah, like, like I said in, the, in you know, the video that I did for, like, about Maddie is that, I had a run in with the manager at Mitchell, and he's just completely on a different planet. You know, <laughs> he was here telling me that yeah. he can justify the pricing because he's done a business degree. And I'm like, <laughs> how does that relate to anything? You're, like, you're not a business, like, mate. You're supposed to be a profit. You're yeah, supposed well, to be a profit arm but, of, a, of a... But he was like hanging this over my head. He's like, oh, yeah, I've got a business charity. degree. He wouldn't understand. And I'm like, I've, I've got a business degree. <laughs> I still don't know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just crazy. But um, yeah. I, I think volunteering, if I get a back, you know, I get like some knowledge of the back end and what's going on behind the scenes, yeah, I might be able to get a bit of perceptive, but yeah. it's just crazy. Ludicrous. Well, I well, like the cameras. One, the one that's old and decrepit. Like we had a salvos that our Trogan salvos mm. was like that. And I went in there all the time. Like yeah. it had good good prices, like and then they built this bloody new big building on the highway. Um, they didn't build the building; it was already there. But they completely redid it. And Amazing, like that's one, yeah. I, one I was talking about. Like, I've talked about heaps of times. So like, it's like it's very, very well known in Gippsland as it's basically a laughing stock. Like yeah. Um, so the community groups on Facebook, they're not retail groups or anything, just the community group. If op shops ever get brought up, it's just the amount of comments about the trail and so yeah. uh, It's unbelievable. Yeah. And, but the thing is, they're not stupid. So they, they're not completely stupid. So they must be making money. So I want to know how. Like, I want to know yeah. how they make money. Like, it's probably, uh, probably uh, methadone lab at the back, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, like, when, when the whole town is it's like against them, like, I don't understand, yeah. like, how they can be making yeah. money, but they must be. And, and the thing is, there. well, the thing is, mate, right? Like, if they purposely built a building, I kind of wonder if, you know, just say Canberra hypothetically might be offloading their profits to, you know, to failing stores just to have a presence in that area. Because one point that I didn't bring up was that I'm kind of curious to see if, yeah, Salvo's front stores at fronts are just there for more visibility within the community opposed to actually selling stuff. Like, yeah, this is a bit of a conspiracy theory from my perspective. But, yeah, having that back in mind, call it, and I'd be quite curious to look at the financials for the salvos to see how much actually they're bringing in through the stores opposed to getting, you know, private donations and all this other shit that's getting fed through the system. Because their thrift stores might be only, like, 2 or 3% of the, yeah, their financials for a year, so... Like yeah, said, they, they get a lot of money from the government for their just their support and they get they get all of that grant funding, etc. So a lot of their rent and stuff is already covered because they're seen as a non for profit and they're supporting the community. Well, that's exactly Anything right. Anything else is like an addition kind of thing. Yeah, and it, I have like and I've said in your restaurants, right? I've never had a problem with charity stops, you know, or op shops or thrift stores, whatever you want to call them. It's just that I think when they move away from <laughs> the realm of reality kind of thing, like it's just it's just ludicrous. <laughs> what cost I you? Mean, 
all that would make sense if they make money through government or that. It still would make sense. That would make even more sense to drop their prices. Well, that's move, right. And move the stuff. So, yeah, I don't yeah. get it. I don't really get it. Um, when I went in there the other day, I did. It's the first time I've been in there a long time. I did notice that some of the clothing was a little bit cheaper than it used to be. So maybe they have changed a little bit, but it was still like nine dollars for a Kmart t-shirt or or whatever. Like, you know. Uh, I think I think a little bit of it as well is they they really <laughs> copped a lot of love during the during the lockdowns during COVID era um, because stock was hard to get for a lot of retail stores so people were sort of shifting there um, and wanting to sort of stay local and then I think they they do keep up to trends with the fact that you know vintage fashion you know rotates around and becomes a hot spot and so there is that that they they do push but yeah it's it's. It's a shame that those two big ones, Salvos and um, and Vinnie's, have kind of gone the way that they have because now, I mean, even Anglican, like the Anglican air op shops as well are pretty pretty terrible. But, you know, I, I pretty much get most of my stuff out of like the little Uniting or the, you know, the standalone op shops nowadays because they're, they're individuals and, you know, it's one price for all the shirts, no matter what brand or whatever. And they just, they, they, they are about that item of like, you flip it over, you get you get stock in, you get it out. You don't hang on to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I like. I don't like. I said in my video, I got no problem with. Uh, they got to just say a Metallica. I saw a Metallica T-shirt for like eleven dollars. Like they probably sell that for eleven yeah. bucks. Like yeah. I got no issue with them putting their those prices on their items. Like they're allowed to do whatever they want. That's right. It's yeah. just, just when they put stupid prices on shit, like. Like this Salvos is the laughing stock of Gippsland, like, <laughs> and um, I kind of feel bad because the the staff in there are so nice, like they're yeah. really nice people. Um, and yeah, and I, and I agree with that, Wayne. I was that yeah, you know, like with Maddie's video that he released a couple of days ago. That like, and like I was saying in the group chat today, is that it pisses me off where like they use the volunteers of human shields, <laughs> like they all. Yeah, they're the ones that bark the orders and say, hey, $15 for this or $20 for this or you know, $1,100 for your Burberry jacket. But they're never out the front trying to sell the jacket. Like, <laughs> it's just ludicrous. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they probably do. Um, but it still doesn't, to me, it still doesn't make that sense to have the stock sitting there on the racks. Like when you've got a, a clear, like you've got a ridiculous abundance of stock to put out. Um, yeah, the Vinnies in Traugan, the Vinnies in Traugan isn't too bad, but their storeroom's uh, almost bigger than their store. They've got a giant building, mm. and their storeroom's almost bigger than the store. It's like, uh, just drop your prices a bit, put it all out. <laughs> you make it yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, and yeah, and I, I suppose yeah, going back to the, the charity aspect, and yeah, <laughs> I promise this will be my last point on the matter. But yeah, when I was at Bill Connor the other day, Bowden. Um, they were stripping all the clothes off the racks. And I said, oh, where's these going? Oh, we're just going to put them in, like, to a rag house. And I'm like, there's women charities, you know, there's kids' charities, and, you know, like women's shelters in Canberra and all these different things. Donate it to them. You know, if the clothes don't have any holes, in, <laughs> if, they, if they don't have any holes in the clothes or, you know, if they're not damaged or they're still wearable, dump them off at, a, you know, a charity where people don't have to get them. Oh, it's, just, it's just ludicrous. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's where I think they lose the point of the fact they're supposed to be a charity. It's like, mm. if we're not making money from it, it's not worth it. But it's like, you that's guys right. got this for free. You've sold 90% of the stuff. You got 10% left. Like, give it to people in need. Like, we're not asking them to give us stuff for free. That's not what we're doing. But no. if we're the ones that are saying, hey, this is a bit overpriced, what are people who are struggling saying when they're going in? Yeah. That's, that's the reality of it. And that's where yeah. it's a bit of a struggle. Yeah, and it's so just, we're, uh, we're not all saying "woe is us." That's that's also we don't want to come across saying "woe." No, is us. That, that's but I've been a strong advocate for that, right? Like I'm happy to pay a, a reasonable price, right? Like with Skylanders, yeah. right? I'll pay up to forty percent of the value of what they go on eBay. Yeah, and, like, and people say, "Oh, yeah, buy them for ten cents, twenty cents each." Yeah, if for this one, yeah, mm -hmm. if it goes for five hundred bucks, yeah, I'll pay two hundred dollars for it because I know I can flip it for two and a half yeah. times that. But yeah, you know, like the same thing at Salvos or Vinnies. Yeah, if I come across. You know, a Burberry jacket that's worth ten grand. Of course, I'll pay a thousand dollars as long as it's authenticated and as long as it's got all the details and you know all these different things. But yeah, you know, just yeah, you know, pissing in a bucket and hoping for the best. <laughs> it's just like ludicrous. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, they still undervalue some other things as well. Um, speaking of surveys, man, they're changing the modeling. They used to only have to cover their operational expenses. That's fine. They all have revenue, t- even some of the small op shops that, are just, yeah. that aren't chain op shops have revenue, you know, have targets. And that's where I, I'm surprised at how much they charge stuff for because the best way to get revenue is by moving stock. Yeah. Not by holding on to it and getting the highest dollar value. Like, if, if you want revenue, if you want if you want turnover, you get stuff down low and you just sell it. Like, why do they have you know Kmart shirts and stuff priced over a dollar? If it has a Kmart tag or a Lowe's tag or anything like that, stick a dollar on it. Stick it in a bin. Don't waste your staff time hanging it up on a thing. You know, have a bunch of bins like they have in the US and just have all those crap brands yeah. in there. Yeah, like it's or, hard. Yeah. Well, Leon and I have talked about this before. I think my name might have been on that show, but you know, put a put a little bin out the front with the Enco clothes and stuff like that, and say, hey, look, you know, if you if you're destitute or you don't have any money, or if you just after you know really low end clothes, you know, take what you need and just <laughs> go on that way, like clear out the stuff. But yeah, I, I haven't seen her in the chat. Or I haven't seen her in the chat for a while. But yeah, you know, Sam, lifestyle reseller. Yeah, you know, she sent me a picture a couple of months ago about Vinny's selling Kmart clothes. It had like you know like the Kmart tag, so it was you know, you were tag. Yeah, Kmart ten dollars, and it says on an even vintage price fifteen. <laughs> and Kmart's like like a hundred meters up the road. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Savers so ain't much better at times. Yeah, it's true. Never been to Savers. I need to go to Savers. <laughs> yeah, I used to. Um, well, I haven't been for ages, but like you, you take a bag of stuff in and you get a twenty percent off coupon. Mm. So I'd just take a bunch of VHS tapes. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you from, Kfan? I thought you were from Western Australia. Obviously from either South Australia or uh, Victoria. Yeah, I see. Um, where were we at? Shits me to tears. Did you have one, Bowden? Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know at the moment. I'm just trying to catch my my breath here. I got one. That's, I got one that's not re, that's not reselling. It's pretty boring. Um, just because I saw it in the community group or whatever uh, yesterday. When people complain about the police revenue raising for catching speeding Speeders, people, yeah. don't fucking speed your dickheads. <laughs> like you know, they can't raise any revenue if you uh, don't break the law. Uh, I don't speed yeah. anywhere I go. I've had people that have died from speeding. I've, I've known people that have died from speeding. Uh, bad fucking luck if you get caught. If you want to speed and you get caught, bad fucking luck. <laughs> and I also hate when people flash to say that there's a cop with a camera. I never yeah. flash. I never let people know. It's, well, if, you, if you're going to do it, you're going to get done. So, I've tried a different flashing, but I got pulled over for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I agree. When I, my, my new car screams at me if I go over the speed limit, so I think it's kind of an inbuilt thing, <laughs> so I don't yeah. speed anymore. Well, I just don't speed because I'm lazy, so I just put, I put the cruise control on literally everywhere I go, so I can't speed. Um, yeah, well, the price of petrol, yeah. you can't afford to speed this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in semi semi regional Victoria. Nari is the shop all resellers go to, though. Uh, yeah, well, the Karen one's probably better. I'm being tired as well. Yes, agree totally. Uh, same when people give someone else's yes. kids yelling there. Totally yeah. agree. <laughs> Why not keep your kids down? <laughs> yeah. well, Oh, geez, it's, it's the night. Is it Father's Day already? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, yeah, no. um, you didn't have one, Josh, did you? I'll get one uh, later. I rambled. I, I'm about to say, I rambled about say, uh, salvos for the last 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah. So maybe, maybe that could be a shit in tears. Uh, having to go back to work tomorrow is probably <laughs> pretty high on the list. <laughs> Chris is probably the best going over to work. I always put Ari. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I try and shop at the option with the most little old ladies who don't know their products. I think uh, I think one of the things that, that, that I would say for me, like on, on the back of Josh's salvos, uh, it's retail shops that when they get rid of stock, ruin the stock rather than donating it on. That's probably the thing that, you know, I, I know is becoming more common and more prominent is that they write the stock off and rather than allowing it to go to people in need, they'll they'll ruin the stuff, um, and that's probably 
that's even mm. worse than Salvo's putting five bucks for a dollar. You know, I don't know how the bed, I don't know how the big dogs do it, but the 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 good op shop that we have here in Trail, and I know that they uh, anything that any clothing that doesn't sell, they donate to mm. people yeah. that, people that need it or whatever. Um, so it all goes to charity in the end. Like, but I'm, I'm all... talking like actual retail stores. So you're finding a lot of like oh, clothing yeah. stores and shoe stores nowadays that when stuff gets, you know, when it's past the season, etc. cetera, um, quite often rather than shipping it off overseas, etc., they'll just trash and burn it. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they do it probably. So they probably have like reasons why they do those things, you know, like if... Uh, Sort of thing. If people start to find out that uh, this is going to end up over here pretty soon, pretty cheap, yeah. and they won't buy it. So that's probably why they. And it, it's more to do with the um, a tax write off as well. Like yeah, when when yeah. they donate it, they get a different tax rate. Yeah, if Ethan's in the <laughs> in the chat somewhere, pop up. Um, yeah. But yeah, they normally yeah. do it. But there's a lot of organisations that donate it. They call it. Uh, I can't remember yeah. what it's called, but it's. Basically, with it, it, they earn goodwill from their customer base. So, yeah, if they donate to a certain charity that they might yeah. see four or five times the amount of sales just because they, they, they get, <laughs> get some antibiotics. <laughs> most, most, most of the time, the money that they're donating is money that they've collected from their from their customers. Customers oh, give exactly them, and that's what Woolies and that do. Woolies and everyone get you to to give them money to donate towards organisations, and then that's they right. donate. They write it so off. They it's like far out. This is a good example. This is what I was trying to say. You know, if if everyone knows that the bakery is going to give away free bread at the end of the day, then no one will buy bread. They'll just go in at the end of the day to get their free bread. Uh, so that's why they. I, don't I get your free bread every day of the week. Why they throw yeah. it out? <laughs> I was about to say I was um, using a different. Uh, post office a couple of days ago because I um, was running late. And this nice Chinese lady that was next to the, she was the bakery owner next to the post office. She's like, you take bread, you take bread. It's like, no, I don't want to eat any bread. <laughs> she was like literally throwing it at me as I walked past. Yeah, so yeah. Friend, friends of mine run a community food store that's like tied in with food bank, etc. And so they get free bread to give to their customers. So, yeah. you know, if you buy five bucks or 10 bucks worth of stuff, you get you get free bread and that money that you spend helps them to buy more stock to be able to help and support people. So yeah, like I said, it's, always yeah, good. it's just a sad state of affairs when people have to rely on those kind of services to get by. That's, that's just what shakes yeah. my head. I wanted to buy a guitar at my local op shop. She said she'll take my number and text me the price. What's that research? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a guitar hero, mate. A guitar oh. hero guy. Guitar. The, it's actually, the guitar hero is harder to play than the fucking actual guitar. Um, it, it, it's actually the brands that instruct them to do it it's to maintain the brand's image and high prices. But yeah, totally. All right, let's um, let's do the quiz. Um, I've gone for five TV shows and five movies. Okay. Bone wants to win. <laughs> Uh, I've gone for five TV shows and five movies. Right? Um, so jump in the chat if you know the answers. Some of these are pretty easy. Uh, the TV show ones are pretty easy, I think. Have a poo emergency. Do it without <laughs> me. I'll be back. <laughs> maybe you should go before. Maybe you should go before the show. Uh, Bone. <laughs> yeah, it's not his kids. He <laughs> All right, this is just for you, Josh, and the chat. That's right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right, smashing naughty, Sma very very big TV show, very big, smashing naughty, smashing naughty <laughs> TV show. Uh, what are you in, buddy? Just go. Uh, Jazz got in first. Bres Bresking bad. Is that jazz or bread? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> We're sucking. Uh, oh, breaking. Uh, heaps people got it. Good break. Good break. Good break. Good break. Uh, <laughs> uh, <funny>. uh, <laughs> but no, I'm saying Guitar Hero is hard to play. <laughs> I'm saying guitars are easier to play than Guitar Hero. <sighs> uh, all right. Next one is a movie. This is a long one. Latch inventory and a pair of smoldering tubs. 
latch inventory and a pair of smouldering tubs. Uh, lock, stock, two smoking barrels? <laughs> yeah, the octopus got in before you. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't get yeah, it right. Is that right. what I heard? Did I hear you say I didn't get it right then, Josh? Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. He didn't get it right. Yeah, you can't take these people anyway. He doesn't watch movies. He's too busy taking over the world. Technically, Bowden and uh, Des got it right then. Um, Kayfin also got it. Uh, another TV show. This one's easy. The Workplace. The Office. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> The office. Talking about TV shows and lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Have you guys watched The Gentleman on Netflix? No, I haven't. No, it's good value. It's it's Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman movie, but <clears throat> recreated to be a ten part like mini series. So yeah, okay, yeah, of his I've style, been... but think just like longer and and more, you know, more storytelling. I guess I still haven't even seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> which um, I want to, but I just for whatever reason I haven't. You'd, you'd be in a fallout, wouldn't you, Burton? That, that's a new TV show. Uh, I am. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm not quite up to that one yet. Yeah. All right. Next one is a movie. Knife Jogger. Knife Jogger. I was going to go with... Sorry? Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Yeah. Yes. Blade I was going to I was, I was go with Knife Chris Furlong. <laughs> Blade Runner. Blade Runner. <laughs> He's a bit special, that guy. Nick? He's just thinking of the water sports, that's all. That's right, yeah. Well, Christian. Yeah. Uh, next one's TV show Apprehended Evolution. Apprehended. Rest of Development? Yes, that is correct. It is Arrested Development. Damn, that octopus is living in the future. <laughs> no, he's living on something. I don't know if it's the future. He's getting the answers in before they're even the questions even asked. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the delay. Um, another movie, Floor Pig 24 Hours. Floor Pig 24 Hours. My brain is offline today. That one's. I'm taking the last. I'm about to say I'm last. Yeah, Groundhog Day. I I, I worked at the last one. (laughs) Day. (laughs) Jazz is smashing it in the chat. Um, There's the floor. I'm trying to think of like another name for floor. I'm like, what? Carpet. (laughs) Carpet Swine Day. (laughs) Yeah. Um, (laughs) TV show. Solo. Solo. Alone. Alone is correct. Uh, we were talking about it the other day. Great show. Uh, <laughs> people have seen it. Never watched time any movie Never show watched watched a bit. This one's a bit hard. It's a movie. Uh, yes, Jazz. I know Jazz loves it. And Sandra got it as well. This one's a bit hard. It's a movie. Axe. Axe. Saw. Saw. Uh, maybe like a layman's term for an axe. Or a Nuffy's term for an axe, maybe. Chopper? Chopper. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get me chopper out and get some wood. Um, <laughs> all right. Next one. La- second last one. Uh, Christian got in on that first. Second last one's TV show, Huge Boom Hypothesis. Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that was quick. Um, uh, I'm sure someone will get that. It, it, helps, it helps when I've gotten some oxygen coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last one's pretty hard. It's a bit hard. Yeah. It's a, it's a movie from six years ago, maybe. <laughs> don't don't encourage him, Jazz. <laughs> you know how long it would take for him to get prepared for that, Jazz? <laughs> I'll, I'll do it if you come on and be one of the one of the contestants, Jazz. Jazz, you better clear your schedule because you're going to be only one. Yeah. All right, last one. 
transmitted at birth. Movie. Horror, horror movie. Oh, I'm From terrible like at horror movies. Six years ago. I don't know. Transmitted. Transmitted. Hard. It's not really a play on words. It's more of a a uh, another explanation for it. It's more of an explanation for the word, if that makes sense. <laughs> Transmitted. Something delivered. At, uh, no. Something delivered. No, it's not the nun, and it's not something delivered. Hey, all I can think of is predestination, but that's not it. That's not a horror movie. It's got, um, it's got Tony Collette in it. If that helps. Uh, like I said, if it's horror, I I stay clear of horror. And no it's one's in my, the chat. No category. one in the chat can get it either. I don't think. Ooh. It is a. It's a supernatural Tony movie. Uh, Krampus, <laughs> Fright Night. Uh, what else you got? Uh, Raucous Red is very close, and then Jazz has got it. Is it Hedgehog? Yeah. Yes. Google um, didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but actually, uh, just by coincidence, we, <laughs> I was are for this. Doing, we are doing supernatural movies tomorrow night on the movie show. Hereditary might get a, a bit of a look in. Uh, it is about a demon. Um, so yeah, that is a weird coincidence. Um, jump over to the movie; it's in the links in the description. You can go and give us a sub, and you can come and watch us bang on about fucking supernatural movies. There's going to be six of us tomorrow night, so it's going to be banger. Oh. Ad- Adzi's cousin's coming on, so apparently, <laughs> apparently, she, apparently she's a ripper chick, so it should be a good show. And Shane will be there as well. Um, yeah, okay. Segway. Yes. <laughs> the movie channel. It'll be fun. Um, That's right. We'll we'll wrap up. Thanks, guys, for coming on. Uh, uh, a bit of a uh, bit of a um, all over the place. Uh, <laughs> show this weekend. Uh, hopefully, be back next week. And I'm trying to do every weekend. So um, now that I'm settled a bit more in the house, uh, hopefully, be back next weekend. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.